Hi, welcome to another video. So, Gemini 2.5 Pro is now the actual state-of-the-art model, setting new benchmarks. It's truly amazing. It's exceptionally capable at coding tasks. It now confidently tops the ADER leaderboards, which is a really big deal in the AI community. And not just that, it's quite amazing for most of the tasks we typically do, since it can handle complex reasoning and everything like that quite effectively. Now, the only significant issue is that it's currently very limited, especially in its API access, which makes it, to be perfectly honest, somewhat unusable for developers right now. But the good news is, they've now started to roll it out within the main Gemini platform itself for free users, which means you can now use it quite easily over there, and importantly, at no cost. Not only that, it's even gained full support for the Canvas feature, which means you can use it to do some coding quite easily, and you also won't encounter any frustrating rate limits or usage issues there. So, I thought I'd show you guys exactly how you can use this powerful new model with their integrated Canvas feature and generate some really cool stuff with it. First of all, just go to the Gemini platform. Remember, this is different from the AI Studio. So, just head over here to the main Gemini interface. Now, here, you'll see the new 2.5 Pro experimental model listed, and then you can just chat with it directly, which is pretty amazing. Previously, 2.5 Pro didn't support several key things, including the very useful Canvas feature, which we didn't have access to before. But now, we have full Canvas support integrated within it. Beyond that, it also now supports all kinds of Google app integrations, including searching through your custom files and personal documents, and even searching the web for you in real time. So, let me show you precisely how all of this works in practice. First, let's start with the various options you have available right here. If you look here, you have the Canvas option clearly visible, but you also have options to give it additional context and other things. You can just hit the plus icon here, and it will open up the option to attach images to the prompt, various files, Google Drive documents, or even a whole code folder. Yes, this is pretty cool, because you can upload your entire code project folder here, and then have Gemini work on it which will be pretty amazing for sure. It's not just limited to this either, because you can go directly to the prompt box. And here, you can just hit the at symbol, and it will allow you to give it the context of anything, like Google Flights information, your calendar schedule, tasks, or maps data, or anything like that, which is really awesome functionality for sure. I mean, it's really good. Another key thing is that it can even perform web searches for current information. So, let's try that out. I'm going to ask it to tell me why XAI bought X. If we send that query, you'll see that it starts working on it almost immediately. It's actually quite fast for most things. Anyway, if we wait just a moment, we get the researched result presented here, which is pretty accurate and awesome to see. Also, Keep in mind that Gemini 2.5 Pro has a knowledge cutoff date of January 2025, which means it knows most of the recent stuff directly from its training data. That itself is pretty cool. And the search and apps integration are also really cool additions with Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is pretty awesome. I mean, the base model is cool, and having such capabilities integrated makes it even cooler. Now, let's use the Canvas feature with it as well, and let's see how well it actually performs on a coding task. So, just go ahead and select 2.5 Pro, and then just enable the Canvas feature right here. As soon as you do that, we can now give it a prompt, and it can generate code for us. It can generate code in both HTML and React, which is pretty great, 
as often you'd want the code specifically in React. Anyway, let's ask it to make me a 3JS game that allows me to drive a car, and the game should be styled like Subway Surfer. Once we send it, you'll see that it starts working on it, and it is obviously a thinking model processing the request. So, you can see the thinking indicator here, and the canvas also opens here, where you can see the code being streamed instantly. It's really fast, especially considering that it's better than things like 3.7 Sonnet, which can be quite slow at times, generating code. But anyway, if we wait just a bit here, you can see that it's now done, and we have the preview available right here. You can see the generated code here and everything, and you can also see the live preview here, and this worked pretty well for most things requested. I really like this feature a lot. It's just awesome to use. You can share this canvas with anyone easily by clicking the Share option here and then sharing it accordingly, which is pretty cool functionality, for sure. You can also view the developer console for any potential errors, which is pretty great for debugging. We can also ask it for any changes directly here, and it will just modify the code for us, which is awesome as well for iteration. You can also select any specific chunk of code here, and then you can just ask it for any change here accordingly. It will allow you to generate or edit code precisely, as it will allow you to do inline assistance accordingly. So, that's super cool and very helpful. Let's ask it to change something for me as well, and let's see how well it performs this edit. Once we send in the prompt, you can see that it again starts working. And if we wait just a bit, it's now done. And it did this pretty well too, which is also great to see. The model is really good for most tasks, and it works amazingly well overall. You can also use the Canvas feature for things like writing assistance, which is also something that the new Gemini 2.5 Pro model excels at which is pretty great for content creation. This can be pretty good as well for various writing needs. I really like this model. It's just so good for most tasks, and having it available on the Gemini platform is pretty good because you can now use this powerful model for almost anything, whether it be to manage your Google Docs, analyze files, and stuff like that. Plus, one of the main significant factors is its massive 1 million token context window, which allows you to give it even longer context from documents that are maybe super long. And it even supports videos and everything like that. So this works pretty well, which is pretty great indeed. Apart from this, I really also like the code folder upload option, where you can easily upload your whole project folder and chat with it contextually. It should also work seamlessly with Canvas, so that should be pretty cool with this as well. It really works well for most tasks, and this new model is really something good. It's marginally better than things like Sonnet, which are good models, but 2.5 Pro makes them pretty much obsolete in comparison, and it's rumored to be quite cheaper than that as well, which will be pretty cool for accessibility, for sure. So, go ahead and try it out, and let me know what you guys think about it. Please subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!